In this tutorial, we will walk you through the steps needed to complete a basic external fluid simulation. On the start page of Discovery Live, click on the sample project called Dump Truck. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will delete the simulation that has already been done. Just right click the simulation on the Solutions panel and delete. The previous simulation also kept the bounding box, so just select that enclosure from the structure tree and hit delete on your keyboard. To start the external flow simulation, click on create solution then fluid behavior. Be sure to select the option to create a fluid volume, leave on external flow, then click create when done. Although we just deleted a bounding box then created a new one, this will prompt Discovery Live to add some initial boundary conditions in more of an automated fashion. Click the leftmost arrow, then the bottom face, and your simulation will immediately begin. Discovery Live assumed parameters like velocity and temperature, and you can always add more conditions like temperatures, pressure, and gravity using the setup section in the primary tool stack. Next, let's explore the different types of views in the Solutions Panel control box. The current display is set to velocity. The Show Results button will always show a view that fills up the entire volume, while the Cut Plane view will only show a cross-section perspective. At any time, you can pause the simulation or modify the relationship between the speed and fidelity of your solution. The Composite view is a popular smoke-like view of semi-transparent colors showing velocity profiles. The center slider bar option will let you focus around a certain velocity and the bandwidth controls the expanse of what is shown. Another popular view type is the isosurface, which creates opaque surface bodies of a certain velocity you choose. And finally, MIP will always show the highest velocity, in this case, at any pixel location regardless of orientation. Next. Turn the Show Results button off and the Streamline button on. This is an interactive tool where dragging handles up and down and left and right will change the size of the opening from which the streamlines flow. Both the Streamline and the Particle Display tools have several options for optimizing the view of the simulation at hand, like changing the size and the rate of the flow. A final simulation result to view is called LIC, or Line Integral Convolution Display. In the cross section it will show not only velocities but directions. This can give insight to things like turbulence and areas of recirculation. Keep in mind that Discovery Live is interactive, so changing input conditions such as velocity will instantly update the simulation. You can also modify the size of the enclosure by right-clicking anywhere in the screen, then selecting Allow Enclosure Selection, then going to the Design tab and clicking the Pull tool. Drag any face of the enclosure to change its size and location. This is especially useful when you want Discovery Live to expand its scope of solution or minimize it to a certain area of interest. Thank you for watching, and for more information or other helpful tutorials like this, please visit ansys.com discovery.